Hello and welcome to another Players Hero Annihilation patch update video and uh, as you can see we're already on version 0.51118 and with this comes support for saving, loading and playing on custom planets however they say that if experimental appears uh, then the server will not allow you to play on that planet and it says that you will see increased slowdown on planets with greater than one kilometer diameter it now says that the AI actively builds and you can expect therefore larger bombing raids if you don't uh, try and whittle them down and keep them at bay during the game and so if you leave them alone you'll uh, experience larger bombing raids and more difficult bombing raids it says that the AI still cheats and is not a smart AI um, but they say there will be no more building stacking you can now select your commanders when you enter a game lobby you will have an option to go either alpha or delta at this point so you can choose between those two commanders they have said that underwater metal has returned it is a little bit difficult to see but you should be able to place on it and um, they have significant improvements to pathing air units should patrol better and they have got support for greater text input so you've got copy paste text selection and your sort of arrow keys that aren't really arrows basically the ones that if you go shift and the f um, period and shift and comma then uh, those are the ones that they're basically the arrows I call them the left and right arrows anyways <clears throat> they now also say that combat turrets remain pointing in the direction of the last enemy uh, and they say that this is good for static defenses and things like that and artillery but they may see strange behavior in mobile units and they say that build bars now support tabs and you need to press B to cycle through them and is very much a work in progress so let's go and test some of this out shall we let's go and create a new planet let's give it uh, well let me just show you what you'll see if the planet is not allowed for instance lava biomes is experimental so the server won't support that same case with metal moon is fine tropical is fine and earth is fine so let's go and make an earth planet right now seed that's quite large and uh, radius that you see there it goes experimental if it's too high so let's just keep it a reasonable radius Again, the seed is quite a lot, and let's keep that down. Height range, let's have a reasonable height range. Water height, we don't want that too high. And temperature, we'll just have that in the middle. So let's have a build preview of this. See what it does, see what it looks like. Just going to take a little while to produce this planet for us. there it is there is our earth biome planet it looks pretty cool don't you think I would say so too you have a little bit of these sort of shallower water regions that don't they aren't really sort of water but because I've put the water level quite low um, then it's pretty much your sort of you know mossy or you know, rather wet regions around the outside where you can expect things to be um, rather soaked with water so you have all of that on your planet biome on earth let us call it novella because I feel strange right so let's save this planet save and close so let's go and create a custom game with our planet load a custom game novella 2 interesting load boing free-for-all add an army now that's fine I'm just gonna be playing against an AI at this point just to show you the commander selection as well so you can click here to change between the alpha and delta commanders you've already seen the delta commander so let's go in straight with an alpha commander and here we go so here we are on the planet that we just generated we are about to play a game so uh, let's hop in right here to a place with a reasonable amount of metal actually so let's go straight in the middle of that huge clump right there and there is our lovely grand spanking new alpha co- what the- <laughs> woo hello that's an interesting way to put an energy <laughs> a power generator <laughs> and see if it works oh there we go you sorted it out you realize the error of your ways <laughs> oh wow okay so 
Oh, right, okay, so... Right, okay. I see the build tabs there. And as soon as I get a worker out, I will show you, or at least attempt to show you, what the sort of build tabs mean for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into dynamic camera, and with any luck, get a nice sort of look at our beautiful new commander without going a little bit too low. And there he is. There is our alpha commander. And they did put in the patch notes that both feet are now actually there. So we can see both of those feet. So, return back to normal again. We're going to get a fabricator out pretty quickly. And I want a skitter out as well. And sir, I want you to put in a lot of energy because I'm going to need it. I am really going to need it. So, yeah, that is pretty much your planet generation, and you can now play on your generated planets, etc, etc, etc. Let's have a look in the water to see if we can see these metal spots. And you can probably tell, as I said, that it is quite difficult to see them. So, uh, unless, of course, there is no metal in that water might be a little bit of trouble on the generated planet. Ah, there's some, I think. Or is that just waves? Nope, that's just waves. It's just waves. So, other than that, um, I will quickly apologize, though, if you hear anything in the background that is sort of the room next to me being quite loud. So, again, apologies for that. Right, so, let's have a look at the build tabs right now. I'm going to go B, 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 and B. So, you can see there the different buildings, or you can just have them all as they were. Personally, at the moment, I'm still going to keep them all as they were. Um, they don't have mouse support for them yet. Um, and the thing with them at the moment is, even if they did, the buttons are incredibly small, and it would probably just be easier to stick with this for me at this point because of my bad eyesight and just having got used to it now as well, rather than having to skip through each of them. But it depends on the sort of style of game you play, really. And I'm going to get a bunch of skitters out because I want to uh, make sure I know where the AI is. I'm going to send them off in all forms of directions. I'm going to continue to build with this lovely commander right now. Can't wait until I can see some more commander designs because they do look pretty nice. Let's send you off up north, sir. <clears throat> One does not simply send a skitter northwards. Why not? Pathfinding, except it appears improved, as they did say in the patch notes, so that is all well and good as well. Success. I'm happy. There we go. Right, let's see if we can find this AI. It's not a huge planet, but it is big enough to be annoying. And once I've done that, actually, I won't have any need for any more skitters. Because I will have air scouts! And I can scout a lot faster with air scouts because, well, they're not tied to land. Obviously enough. So let's do it! Let's get a bunch of mechs. Uh, queued up. Let's just have a look around the water there. No, we can't. Okay, never mind. So I'm going to get my commander quickly put. Oh, hello. Someone got attacked. Aha! There they are. Uh, excuse me, what is this? What is this? Metal on metal sides, please. <laughs> so much for that. Right, well in which case I don't need those, what I do need are interceptors. Right, what I'll do is I'll call it here and I'll uh, reload when I'm attacking the AI. So we're not too far into the game now and I've got my sort of small group of ants that I just want to send out just to do that little bit of damage just to see if I can do any form of raiding at all. I mean they do cheat of course because oh, they're just doing it all with the commander and they're putting it you know, not on metal sites and all that, but that doesn't matter, you know, it's doesn't matter too much at all. And I hope the pathfinding actually lets them go that way. Apparently they want to go down and around. So I'm just gonna have to give them waypoints, because I mean the skitter got through. But if the ants are going to refuse, we're going to have a mutiny and something of a problem on our hands. So let us have a look. And see what is going on. 
all we can do is hope. Hopity hopity hope. Indeed. There it goes. So, let's have enough workers and ants and all of this. All that jazz. My commander will be building that over time. And there's some more bombers I just need to take care of. Do it. Take care of them. They're doing a little bit of damage there. With any luck, that'll have them sorted. Uh, more bombers over here. Let's sort them out before they take out my entire attacking force. Which we don't really want to happen. And apparently... My anti air got taken out as well. So, all we're going to have to do, therefore, is send them in with some anti air support. And we can do this now. But uh, with the ants I have, should definitely be enough. And those should be continuing to do that. You should be continuing to build those. You guys should have come around here and started to build uh, some anti air in all sorts of places. But it appears as though you have decided to rebel against me and disobey a direct command. Let's have a look at how what damage these ants are doing right now. I want to uh, take out as much of this as I possibly can. I can send in a follow-up assault as well, which is not a problem. I have ants, I have spinners taking out some of those bombers. They're not enough spinners there though, uh, which is a little bit of an oversight on my part. But it's enough to, you know, Oops, maybe not. Keep running! Just run! Right, when I get enough, that's really when I'll start going ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Ha! Um, but besides that, I do need a lot of interceptors now. Doing all sorts of antics. And actually, what I'm thinking of doing is just cancelling the interceptors for the time being, building one of those getting uh, an advanced air factory going up and getting in for a bomber snipe. So when I have managed to do something of um, that nature... Oh, this bomber's taking out quite so many ants. Come on, shoot the debris so you can move. Yes, this is good. Shoot some of these. Shoot! Shoot some factories. Shoot some factories, please. There we go. That's fine, I don't mind you um, not doing anything like that, but that's fine. Ah, just take out that energy, good man. Right, that's a lot of interceptors and a lot of bombers. So I'm going to need a bigger force. That looks like it's a good enough secondary follow-up force. Um, where is my fabricator? There he is. Beautiful dude. Get some uh, tier 2 air going down here. Getting my commander to build me some more energy all the time. We love energy. We love it a little bit too much, I fear. And while we're doing that, those dudes are going to be building fine. That's all good. A lot of metal coming in there, actually. I'll need to build some more factories to keep up with the uh, metal income. So let's do that. Build a lot of factories over there. And I'll send one of you to... Oh, of course, you can't go around crevasses. Oh, fine. Let's give you waypoints. Here we go. Minute, 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 minute. Do, 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 do. Minute, minute. There we go. So, this dude can go over there, assist that in production. I've got a lot of fabricators doing all sorts. Got a lot of anti air. That's all good. In all various places. That's a reasonable sized army of ants and spinners. So, let us send these up as well. In a beautiful follow up fashion. And see what damage we can do with those. <coughs> I have enough interceptors as well to continue to patrol there beautifully. So while they do all that, I'll just continue building ants, I guess. <laughs> and so I've done that. Maybe one of those, and then get on the hornets. Starting to use a bit more of my production now, and where are my patrols? There they are. A little bit too far off, actually. That was a little bit of an oversight. And 
When you guys are done with that, I need you to build some anti-air around my base, please. They've now taken out two metal extractors, and I'm not happy about that. And when you've done that, you can go and... No, when you've... Oh, never mind. I've got plenty of energy. I'm just meeting their army now. <coughs> a bomber for an ant. It's a good trade. Another bomber for another ant. That's a good trade as well. Take out as much as you can, ladies. Do this damage. You know you want to. There's a commander sat in the middle there. <coughs> Take out these factories. Do it. Take out a commander as well if you can. If not, never mind. Just take out that factory. I don't want these bombing raids to continue to pound away at me as much as they have been doing. Take out that commander! Do it! Sitting still while you do so is always the best way to go. <laughs> Actually, it looks as though the projectiles have been changed a little bit. And there goes the commander. Beautiful! And that's a win. Not a particularly greatly interesting game, but it just sort of shows the gameplay on the planets and the AI and all of that stuff. So that was all good. And uh, on that note, I will say thank you very much for watching. Make sure you uh, drop a like or a comment. And don't forget to subscribe for a lot more Planetary Annihilation and a few more playthroughs that I am beginning to get sorted now as well. Uh, so stick around for those. Plus, I've got a special video that, as subscribers, you'll be interested in watching as well, coming up very soon. So all of that to come, and thanks again for watching, and as ever, have a good day.